Lesson number twenty-three. What I will be talking today is not about how to play shogi, but about how the shogi world is like in Japan, and also about the ranking system we use in Japan. First of all, all professional players in Japan belong to Japan Shogi Association. This is a building of shogi association. It's in Sendagaya. In Shibuya Ward, Tokyo, and players of Shogi Association are ranked by this system. The highest is ninth down, and comes eighth down, seventh down, and sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first down, and below that comes first Q, and then second, third, fourth, fifth. And sixth Q, and sometimes we have also seventh Q. Q means class, so it's like third class, second class, first class. Dan means something like stage, so first stage, second stage, and all the way to ninth stage. This is a common ranking system we use in Japanese arts. Let's say arts. Like judo, karate, or、uh, writing, etc., and also ego, of course. And actually, players in fourth dan or higher are professionals. Third dan or lower are just members of shoreikai. Shoreikai is a training organization. To train those who want to be professional players, usually young amateur players in the age of around 11 to 13, who are already very strong in amateur world, enter shoreikai in the sixth queue, and they play game matches with each other every week and compete for getting up to higher rank. They go up or down. According to their winning percentage, and after they finally came up to third dan, they play third dan league. Third dan league is a league game with only third dan players, and is held every half year. I'll show you an example of match table of third dan league. Uh, there are thirty-five third dan players in this term. It's like a round robin that ends about in halfway, and only the best two players can go up to fourth dan and become professionals. So it's an extremely narrow gate to become a professional player. I guess it's not easy to live in shogi world, and shoreikai. Has an age limit. A member can only stay in shoreikai until the age of twenty-nine at max. So a lot of shoreikai members leave shoreikai after being not able to become professionals. It must be so painful for them. Anyway, after you became fourth dan, you can go up according to your game results and record. In professional games, but your rank will never drop after becoming professional, only going up. All right, now let's see what professional players do. What they do is basically they fight for these seven major titles. There are other titles as well, but these seven are the major ones. They are Meijin, Grand Champion. Yu O, Dragon King, Osho, King General, Oi, King's Rank, which means like throne, Oza, King's Seat, so it means throne too, Kisei, Shogi Saint, and Kyo, Shogi King. Each title is held by its defending champion. And each title match is played once in every year. The players who now have these titles are 
Yoshiharu Habu, who has four titles. He once achieved Grand Slam, where he had all the titles at the same time. Akira Watanabe has Ryuo, and right now Habu is in the middle of challenging him. And Koichi Fukaura has Oi, and Yasumitsu Sato has Kyo. Each title has its unique system of game matchmaking for professional players to fight for the right to be a challenger to the title. And the title match played by the champion and the challenger is usually played by 5 game match or 7 game match. For Meijin title match, it's a 7 game match. And one game is played for 2 days. Each player has 9 hours of thinking time. It's very long. The last move of the first day is called Fujite, a sealed move, where one player decides his next move that is to be played as the first move in the next day, and writes it on a paper, and seals it in an envelope, without anyone else seeing it, and they open the envelope next morning. Here, let me show you a typical scene of a title match. I found it from a shogi magazine. It's an old show title match, the fifth match, played by Habu and Sato. You know why I chose this photo? Well, because I'm here. You can barely see my face here. Anyway, now let me show you the challenger selecting systems for these most important two titles, Meijin and Duo. For Meijin, we have this league system called Junisen Ranking League. These are the most important games for professional players. And each league is like a third dan league I've showed you. The new fourth dan player first enters C2 class, uh, which currently consists of 43 players. And only top three goes up to C1 class in the next year uh, which currently has 31 players and top two of them goes to B2 in the next year with 24 players and top two goes to B1 which always has 13 players and top two goes to A class which always has 10 players and best of which becomes the challenger for Meijin. The loser of the title match will be in A class in the next year and players who got bad results fall down to lower class. So you see, a new professional player needs at least 5 years to become a Meijin, even if he's extremely strong. And a player in A class is called an A class player, and it means he's one of the best shogi players in the world. While the ranking system only reflects one's past record, and ninth dan doesn't always mean he's very strong at the moment. Okay, now let me introduce the 10 A-class players this year. Toshiyuki Moriuchi. He held 8 title terms in total and is the 18th Eternal Meijin. Hiroyuki Miura. He held 1 title term. Masataka Goda held 3 title terms. Tadahisa Maruyama also three title terms. And Kazuki Kimura, Takeshi Fuji, a ranging rook player, he held three title terms. And Koji Tanigawa, who held 27 title terms in total. And he's the 17th Eternal Meijin. Oh, Eternal Meijin is a player who held Meijin for five or more terms in total. And Yasumitsu Sato, he held 12 title terms in total, and his eternal Kisei. And the last two are those who came up from B1 class this year, Daisuke Suzuki, a ranging rook player, and Koichi Fukaura. He has OE title right now. Okay, let's go to Duo. The system for selecting a challenger of Duo is this. It's a tournament played by all professional players plus top two women professional players and top five amateur players. So it's possible 
even for a new professional player, or even a woman professional or amateur player, to become a challenger for a duo, although it's very unlikely. All right, in the next video, I'll explain about women professional players and amateur players, and their ranking systems as well. So see you next time.